Yes, we are aware of uh, the case of Stephen Bertrand Munyako, uh, who was uh, uh, incarcerated for on a on a case of uh, manslaughter um, in uh, in, uh, in in Riyadh, and uh, I wish to state that a few weeks ago. Uh, I did write officially to the Foreign Minister of, uh, uh, of uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, intervening that this individual should not be uh, executed. Um, that execution was deferred. Uh, it did not take place. I also had the opportunity to meet the family of uh, the mother of Stephen Bertrand Munyako, and we had a conversation. And the challenge that is there is that uh, um, there is a proposal that is being mooted by the family of the person who died that they be compensated to the tune of 150 million, equivalent of 150 million Kenya shillings. Uh, Madam Speaker, uh, the family has raised uh, about 10 million shillings and they continue to try and raise uh, uh, more money because this is what they call the blood money, some financial settlement for, 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 for that. Um, and clearly, uh, it would be remiss of me not to notify uh, the nation and parliament is that there is no but budgetary provision for the government uh, to settle uh, this kind of situation, uh, whether in Saudi or any other other country. But the ministry and the government is doing what it can uh, to see if this matter can be resolved uh, differently, and perhaps if the family that lost their uh, individual can perhaps climb down from the high level of 150 million Kenya shillings uh, so that this case can be resolved. So it, it is work in progress. It's a conversation that is ongoing.